does Christine Blassie's testimony of her truths hold any merit? And is there burden of proof? Well, according to Dr. Ford, there were four witnesses at the party where she alleges that Superior Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh sexually assaulted her. And the witnesses were Mark Judge, P.J. Smith, and her longtime friend Leland Kaiser, who, by the way, says she does not recall hearing of a Brett Kavanaugh or that this alleged sexual assault occurred. Now, Dr. Ford's allegations were refuted by the witnesses and Mark Judge said under oath in a letter that, quote, I have no memory of the alleged, alleged incident. I never saw Brett act in that manner that Ford describes. While P.J. Smith says something in similar detail. He said in a letter, P.J. Smith, I'm issuing the statement today to make it clear to all involved that I have no I have no knowledge of the party in question, nor do I have knowledge of the allegations of improper conduct she has leveled against Brett Kavanaugh. Personally speaking, I have known Brett Kavanaugh since high school, and I know him to be a great person, of great integrity, a great friend, and I have never witnessed any improper conduct by Brett Kavanaugh towards women. While Dr. Ford's longtime friend says something similar, Miss Kaiser does not know Mr. Kavanaugh, and she has no recollection of ever being at a party or gathering where he was present with or without Dr. Ford. Not to mention that Dr. Ford's polygraph letter contradicts the letter that she has submitted to Senator Feinstein, where she says it was me and four others. Whereas in the polygraph letter, Dr. Ford says that it was four boys and four girls, a couple of girls, sorry, four, gir four boys and a couple of girls. Does Dr. Ford recall anything except the name that is on the tip of her tongue, which is Superior Court nominee Brett Kavanaugh, when asked whether it was mistaken identity or was she sure that the alleged sexual assault predator that she has in mind, imaginary or not, was Brett Kavanaugh. She undeniably said, I believe 100% that it was Brett Kavanaugh that sexually assaulted me. Could this be a hit by the Clintons? Because Let's talk about Kavanaugh's, Brett Kavanaugh's history in government. At age 30, he probed into the death of Vincent Foster, who was so-called, his death was by suicide. Whereas others speculate and believe that it was a murder done by the Clintons because to him, he quote, he knew too much. So Brett Kavanaugh tried to probe and open up the investigation to the death of Vincent Foster. Also, 
keep in mind that Brett Kavanaugh in 1998, 19, uh, during President Clinton's presidency in the early 90s, when he had sexual, a consensual sexual relationship with, at that time, uh, White House intern Monica Lewinsky, he had pressed for uh, Ken Starr to question President Clinton on the allegations of sexual misconduct as president. And he went to into questioning him into sexual details of the allegations. Could it be that the Clintons did this hit because they wanted to seek revenge? And did I mention that Dr. Ford's attorney, Deborah Katz, who is a so-called defender of civil rights and sexual harassment, in 1998, when Paula Jones brought up to the media that President Clinton had sexually harassed her, Deborah Katz had said, this is not viable, it's not a viable case, because it happened in a hotel room and the sexual harassment only lasted 10 to 12 minutes. Now, is this a defender of women? What is this circus all about? Are we trying to keep the right people out of office or to discourage them to even to attempting to get into office by making the Nomin Superior Court, for example, Superior Court nomination process, in this case, a difficult one, difficult one, to not encourage others, trustworthy, law-abiding citizens to run this country so that we don't, we live in a world that there is justice and not just us, you be.